Okay, so welcome to another technology video. Uh, this one's a bit uh, trickier for us to work through. So we have recently replaced our um, firewall with a PFSense box. Um, we used to run a web server here uh, on our network for building customer websites before we deployed them to live. Um, and our old router used to be on dot one. Uh, our new router is on dot two five four. And what we want to do is we've just fired up our web server, only to find that um, we can't see it in our ARP table um, because obviously it has got the wrong um, gateway IP address set. So if we open up, um, if we open up our PFSense box, um, how you can check to see devices on your network. There's two ways. So if it's a DHCP uh, client then you can go to your DHCP leases and have a look to see if it's in there but if it's just a standard device on a network with a fixed IP address then that's obviously not going to appear in the DHCP lease so you want to come into your diagnostics section and you want to have a look in your ARP table uh, to either find the MAC address of the device or uh, to see if its IP address is in here. Um, ours isn't, uh, it's on a fixed IP address, uh, 192.168.0.10, uh, but that doesn't appear in here because obviously it's got the wrong gateway uh, set on the on the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to log onto the device, we're going to change the default gateway, update the DNS servers um, to be, or to point to our PFSense box, uh, and then everything should spring into life. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get logged on. So um, we are going to log on via SSH and we're going to use PuTTY for this. And our server, let's have a look to see if that's the right one. Yep, okay, so let's see if we can get logged in here. Okay, so let's see if we can remember how to log on. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do things as root. You can either do that with sudo commands, um, but we're actually going to uh, do that as the root user. Okay, so here we are as root. So this is a CentOS box. And we want to change our gateway in the network settings. And I think it's in... Uh... Okay. Yes. So that's in network scripts in there, so CD. I think it's that interface. Yep, there we go. So what we want to do is come in here. Here's our IP address, dot 10. Our gateway is set to dot 1, so what we want to do is to change that. Want to change that to be 254. To change uh, to change something, you do CW. Okay, so that's the gateway, and we're going to use the DNS server one. We're going to do that the same. So to delete is X in the Vi. You want to do a Shift A to go to the end of the line. So we're going to, what we've set here is DNS1 is our PFSense box and DNS2 is the secondary DNS um, server from Google. Okay, so that's that. Colon WQ is right quit, uh, exclamation mark is force. So the next thing we want to do is we want to have a look at our resolve.conf which lives in etc so if I 
so of .conf. Okay, so that is generated by the network manager, so we shouldn't need to do anything there. So we're just going to quit that. And now we're going to do a reboot of the device. So there's two ways. You can either just do standard reboot command, or you can do a shutdown minus R now, which would do uh, exactly the same. We're going to do reboot. There we go. So now we can watch and wait for that to come back up on the network. Uh, so we just want to do a ping minus T192.168.0.10. Wait for that to come back up. Okay, so that's it gone down. Okay, there we go, it's back up. So now we should see the ARP entry for dot ten in here. So let's have a look for that. ARP table, refresh that. There it is, dot ten. So now what we want to do is we actually want to give that a host name. I think I've called it server2, so let's do that. So to give it a static host entry, uh, first of all, because it's on .10, our DHCP server is um, issuing leases from .10 and above. So we actually want to change that. So I'm going to narrow that down and I'm going to say .20 there. I'll we'll save that. So that's our DHCP lease pool updated. So there won't be any clashes there. And then the next thing that we want to do is I want to come in and add a entry into our DNS so it can always find it by the name. And you do that by coming into your services DNS resolver, scroll down to the bottom, we're going to add a host override, so we're going to click on add, and our host is going to be server2, domain is local domain, and its IP address is 192.168.0.10, and this is going to be, I'll call this one web server. Save that. And then we need to apply the changes to the DNS resolver. Just takes a few seconds. Go down the bottom, as you can see here, server two, local domain. What we want to do is now check to make sure that the local domain is actually the domain on the server itself. So we can come out of there. We want to go back into Putty. Log back in. It's much more responsive now. It's got the correct gateway defined. Like so. I'm going to go back in as root again. Okay, so let's make this a bit bigger see where we are. Okay, so we're going to look into GTC. Right. So now let's have a look at resolve.conf. To do that, just cap the file. That will tell us. Okay, so search is Frimley Computing, so we want to change that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to change our host name. So as you can see here, we've got it set to this. So we need to change that. Whoops. So we want to do that. Let's have a quick look at uh, host file. Oh. Okay, yeah, so this is where we want to do it. So we want to change this hosts file. Okay. 
this. Uh, we'll change this last bit. So local domain server two. Okay. Save that. And then finally we want to configure the host name itself. Hostname CTL set dash hostname server to the local domain. <coughs> <coughs> Now if we check the host name, that's better. It should still be the same in resolve.conf. But it's updated yep, to the local domain, which is good. So now what we want to do is we want to start restart networking. And that's the network restarted now. So now that is all there is to it in terms of that. So we can exit out of that and close that down. And then we can go back to our PFSense box. Let's just have a look now to see if we can find it in the DNS. Perfect, and there it is. So server two, server two .local domain. That's absolutely fine. That's exactly what should be coming back, um, which means that we've now updated the gateway, we've updated the DNS, and we've updated the host name on our uh, web server. So that is now fully accessible on our local network for future builds. Just like to say thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up and if you wanted to subscribe to our channel then you can do so just by clicking on um, our subscribe button uh, which is should be underneath this video or somewhere on our channel and just like to say thanks for watching